Hello and welcome to another tutorial in Mocha. In this tutorial I will be going over how to use the new camera solve module uh, that we have in version 3. So I have a clip that I shot for this tutorial and Okay. All right. So we have this nice clip. Uh, the camera moves and pans around and uh, what we need for this is a uh, 3D camera solve something that we're now able to do in Mocha uh, and something that will use the great planar tracking uh, ability in Mocha to get a very nice solve So I'll just go to my X flying tool and select an area of the ground here. Uh, it's got these parking lines and plenty of cracks and other information that, that we are able to track uh, with Mocha. Okay, so we need at least two tracks, uh, but since there's stuff uh, that goes out of the frame, and just to get a bit better solve, I'm going to create uh, several here. Alright, that track uh, I'll be pretty good so we can move on and start uh, drawing a tr track around this SUV here. And we don't have to be too precise because Mocha is still able to recognize uh, this foreground object that we want here. Okay, so we have that now, and you might notice that over here we have a bit of non-planar area, but again, uh, this isn't going to give Mocha too much trouble. Let's also create a track around these uh, trees in the background. So trying to just select one planar area. All right, so we have four tracks and uh, that's about all that we uh, want to track from uh, the beginning beginning here. Uh, once we do that then we'll move on to 
these storage tanks or silos or whatever and then uh, check a bit uh, more in this area when the camera pans back. Alright, so uh, just hit track forwards and I'll pause this while it does that. Alright, so we have uh, tracked our uh, four X spine layers, but uh, we've come up across a pro problem. Uh, Mocha is telling us that one or more of our selections were not tracked properly. Uh, so, what we need to do is set the out points for these layers, which for layer 4 here, we'll just call this tree, trees. Uh, out point should be something like this. So we just click on set out point and then Mocha will not track past this point. And then about here we set the out point for this SUV. Call this SUV. And then for this semi, which we will call semi, uh, set out point. And this shape here doesn't need an out point because it's visible pretty much through the entire shot. Alright, uh, we also need to change this minimum percent of pixels used. Uh, since we're using the camera solve, uh, we need a high percentage of pixels. Or something like 89% uh, works well. Uh, also, uh, before you start tracking, should, you should always make that uh, make sure that perspective is checked, at least when you have uh, uh, perspective shifts and uh, you need uh, the perspective data like we do here. Okay, so we can go ahead and check this again. All right. So Mocha has uh, finished tracking, and we can uh, look at what this looks like now. change a few of these colors so they're easier to see. Uh, 
right. Just do this one. Okay, so if we look at our footage or our tracks, uh, everything's uh, staying uh, locked locked to um, our objects. And even when uh, things uh, go out of frame, uh, Mocha can uh, get an accurate track uh, up until uh, there's only a little bit still left in the frame. So we can see that's working pretty well. So now let's move forward and uh, start working on these silo type objects. Grab the create x spine layer. And we'll just draw an area around these. Uh, we don't want uh, this fence area or these bushes, so we'll just keep the, those out of the layer. Just these handles. Okay, so we can set the endpoint for this layer at around here. Set endpoint. All right, that looks good. So we'll just track this. Uh, track it backwards. Oh, but first, turn on perspective. Okay. Now it should be good. Now, if you're like me, you probably just check Twitter or Facebook or something while this is working. But, uh, okay, that's tracked as far as we need to. And, uh, 
then you can go to the beginning here and since uh, we've tracked all the other tracks don't need to do them again we'll just turn off tracking by clicking this wheel okay uh, set layer to call it silo Um, make this yellow and then track it forwards.